Can anyone truly not like bacon? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. First up, if you'd like to win a trip to visit us and watch the show being made, listen up. Yeah, go to mythical.store and look for this limited edition silver GMM logo tee. It is only available through tonight, actually. Mm -hmm. October 12th, midnight Pacific time. And one lucky person will receive this one of a kind golden GMM logo tee, which will be their official ticket into the Mythical Studio and a GMM experience beyond their wildest imagination. All you gotta do is go to Mythical.store and click on the silver GMM tee for all of the info and rules on how to enter. Good luck. Yes, now today. A few weeks back, uh, we played a game where I asked you to predict internet confession videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had one from our friend, Miranda Sings, alter ego, Colleen Ballinger. And I don't like bacon. I know, what? I do remember this. Uh, and I do remember right after that, you went off. Mm -hmm. You don't like bacon? You freaking kidding me right now? You call yourself a YouTuber? You know what I've done to get here? I've had pig anus in my mouth. When good men hear that somebody doesn't like bacon, those men act. Yes. But we're not waiting anymore. Please give a good mythical welcome to Colleen Ballinger! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at that! Grand entrance. I know, so exciting. Pull up a chair. I will, hello. Sit on down. Thanks Pugs. for hugging me. Oh, yes. you're hugging me I'm, even though I don't like bacon. <laughs> I feel like you. I was nervous. I didn't know what I was gonna I'm come into. I'm not hugging you yet. <laughs> I feel like because that was, it was pretty aggressive. I don't know. But. Well, it, it's not the first time someone has done that to me. Anytime oh. anyone finds out I don't like bacon, oh, they get them. very upset. Right, yeah. okay, good. But, well, then we are upset yes. and I'll take the hug back. <laughs> but we really, really appreciate you accepting the challenge. Oh, I'm excited. And being willing to be but, here. Uh, if, we, if we accomplish <laughs> our mission, by the end of this episode, you will like Bacon. Okay, I'm yes. ready for so, it. So, are you ready to embark on a journey of smoky self discovery? Oh, God. <laughs> this time for Food Fears Bacon Edition. So, you're not a vegetarian. No. No. So I've never met a non-vegetarian that doesn't like bacon. What yeah. happened to you? Nothing happened to me. I just, I don't like bacon. I don't like that it's, it's like salty, crunchy plastic. It's like, it's always. No, when I was growing up, my mom would make bacon for us and she'd always burn it to a crisp, like black charcoal burnt. Oh, so, you, mean, you mean like this? See, like this piece kind of right here. She there's, would do there's, that? You guys, there's like snail tracks on this. <laughs> like, I don't understand <laughs> what is the feeling about this. Okay, well, step one is to establish a baseline of just how much you hate bacon. And so we thought we have a that we would give you Eater meter here. Yeah, we would thought we would okay. give you the bacon that was the pinnacle of the bacon that you hate from your childhood. Okay. Would you mind just eating it just to? I will do whatever you want. We got to establish. Okay, so and also, I would recommend taking that the, the snail trail piece, yeah. the burnt one. Okay, I also have to say we'll this better be the like the cheapest stuff there is because that's is. also that's what, what my she mom did? would. She'd yep. get like the cheapest like on sale like ninety nine oh, cent store. Bacon. Our writers did their research. Okay, they knew oh, exactly what it. they it's were doing. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pregnant, so it's like even worse. Hold on, I can also smell it, and it smells great. <laughs> <laughs> It smells like oh. bacon. Okay, no. here we go. Just take it a little bit. That is some crunchy bacon. It tastes like I'm eating a plastic fork. I've had much better bacon, for I mean, sure. But on a picky eater scale, I mean, I'm still gonna, I would still give this like, I mean, I'd still give it a seven. You're lying. I like crispy bacon. It mm. just tastes like burnt. It just tastes like okay. burnt nothing. Like, where would you, where would you put it? For your sure, it'd be all the way to the bottom. <laughs> for sure, like I okay. would never voluntarily eat that. Okay, well, it looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Okay, it's pretty obvious that you're blaming this entire thing on your mom. Okay. Which is classic, and that's okay, at least you're being honest. <laughs> what is her name? Gwen. Gwen, Gwen. Okay, yes. This, this Gwen's is Gwen's fault. fault. No. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna begin with our own jank version of regression therapy. Okay, yes. this sounds like it could be permanently damaging, but. Oh, no, 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 this <laughs> is gonna be great. We're, okay. we're experts. Here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna, we've taken a little bit of training, like we mm -hmm. went and we looked at a wiki how. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take you back mm -hmm. to that initial memory, that mm -hmm. initial traumatic bacon event, okay? The first time you remember your mom serving you this bacon, okay. we're gonna address that okay. memory and we're going to remove all the power from it, okay? okay. Yeah. <laughs> Removing the power from the okay. memory. So go mm -hmm. ahead and close your eyes. Oh, okay. Take a couple of deep breaths. 
And take us back to your first memory of your mama's bacon. Okay. How old are you? I'm probably like seven. Seven years old. Mm -hmm. where, where are you? In my mom's kitchen. Okay. What are you wearing? That's. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to make it weird. I'm just. I want. I think you made it weird. <laughs> no, no. That's that's part of, that's part of it. What made it weird? Have, but yeah, I, I do want to no know. Idea. What are you wearing? <laughs> Probably some princess nightgown yep. pajama yeah, outfit. Put yourself back in the princess nightgown. Okay. This is weird. Jammies. Okay. You're making your way to the to the breakfast nook or mm -hmm. whatever it is you ate breakfast at. Mm -hmm. And what does your mom say? What does she say? She probably says, here's your breakfast. I don't know. I, but I'm remembering the smell pretty, pretty just, ooh, viciously. What does it smell like? It's just burning, the smell of burning. And how does that make you feel? Makes me feel like I don't want to eat this. I want cereal. And what do you say to your mom? Uh, I don't want that. Mm, no, you can give it even more power right now. Don't you, <laughs> do you hate the bacon? I hate it. It's disgusting. Don't, don't talk don't tell to her. her. Straight to her. Mom, I hate your bacon. Okay, more emotion. Let's give it all we got. Mom, I hate your bacon. Oh, I don't think she knows yet. Mom, this bacon is disgusting. I don't want to eat it. It's gross. It's like what, Mom? It's like burnt plastic. Burnt paper. It's so thin. It's gross. I don't want it, Mom. What does it make you want to do to Gwen? Slap her in the face with the burnt bacon. Okay. Uh, let's not. Let's pull back a little bit, but let's get more emotion about the bacon. Just, just, just. Mom, I hate your bacon. 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 Bigger. Mom, I hate your bacon. Mom, I hate your bacon. Okay. Now we're gonna begin to take the emotion out of that. Start big. Mom, I hate your bacon. Mom, I hate your bacon. Down a little. Mom, I hate your bacon. Less emotion. Mom, I hate your bacon. You're That's becoming so a robot. Mom, I hate your bacon. <laughs> That's it. You're in the right place. Open your eyes. Now that we have successfully extricated the emotion from that mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. in your traumatic bacon past, <laughs> we can move forward. Okay. Uh, at risk of putting my foot in my mouth, uh, I have to ask you, are you pregnant? Yes, I am. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we knew that, but tell us about, um, what is something that you're craving? All the time? Yeah. It's chili. Okay. That's, that's that, what I want. That's the answer that we, mm -hmm. that we yes. our, our research dictated? Yes. yes. Yeah, and I'm, we're I'm going very glad. To, we're going to use a meat that you love, if chili is a meat, yeah, it mm -hmm. is, Yeah. to bridge to a meat that you hate. Okay. Okay, okay. so okay. we have two bowls Lo I'm of chili here. Very, wait, there's bacon in this? Okay, no, see this one, Oh, not, not bacon. bacon, this oh, one's bacon. I see. Okay. We so want gonna... to start you with the not bacon chili so you can become acquainted with this okay. chili, commit to it, <laughs> okay. and then we'll just man a little bit of bacon. I'm Baby steps. I'm so excited, just so I can just that. go in, I can yes, just do it. right. Okay. Mm-hmm. This has been my jam. I wonder, I, I want to know what kind this is, but I'm just going to go for it. Okay, all right. Oh, that's good. Okay. I love chili. Great. We're in a very good place. Yeah. Oh, that's good. The right all amount right. of spice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Josh uh, slaved over Josh this. over there. He's Congrats. Mythical chef. Incredible. Slow roasted. Like a Ooh, day, that's... right? Hmm? You, like, cooked this for a day. Oh, yeah. That was all day. Really? Yeah, yeah. overnight. Mm -hmm. No way. Yeah, yeah, this, oh, my this gosh. Is, this is not out no, of a can. Let's can go we around. save this? Yeah, you can save yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Now, I'll give you a whole new spoon, whole oh, new experience. Okay. <laughs> this is the bacon chili. Okay. And just let me know what you think. You know, just breathe into it. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous. Okay. Oh, gosh. It oh, dripped into my nose. You just soiled it. You soiled your other chili. This one's better. <laughs> not big, okay, this one's good. Okay. Here's the thing. Oh, it's still good. Okay. The thing is, I can like taste the flavor of the bacon, but there's no that there's none of that crunchy, burnt, nasty. Uh huh. I was expecting like flakes of crunch, and there wasn't. Okay. All right, Colleen. But, what if I told you that both chilies have bacon? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to lose it. Yeah. Yeah. So I am shook. I really did feel like I could taste it again. Yeah, exact oh same. God. It's in your mind. It's the same chili. You're lying. It's in your no. What? No, we were lying. This, now we're not lying. This was all in one this big crock pot. It? it was all in one big crock pot. It is exactly the same chili. It's just one that says bacon on the bowl and one says not bacon on the bowl. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're making progress. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. I'm so excited. Well, hold on now. We've got you to like bacon that's basically hidden in something. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's not what we're after. We're after pure bacon enjoyment. Yes. And we're gonna get you there. Okay, now we'd like to try to get you to form a positive association between bacon and something you love. And we know that you love musicals. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite musical? Into the Woods by Stephen Sondheim. Okay. Woo! 
That is great because we've got a surprise for you that would be very weird if you had said any other musical. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Just sit right there. Oh no, I'm nervous. And buckle up. As you can see, Colleen, I'm the bacon. And I'm the bacon's wife. And we think this might change your mind about us. Bacon is good, it's time to see. It may be the most wonderful meat. Bacon is good, it's so Colleen. You have to take a journey. Bacon is good, it's succulent. It's smoky and sweet. Magnificent. Bacon is good on sandwiches. <laughs> bacon is good in soups and omelets. Bacon is good all by itself to eat while crying or destroying some evidence. Bacon is good with everything. Bacon is good with everything. I just said that. The answer is clear that bacon's good. So <laughs> have so no so fear, intense. it's understood. That bacon's just meat and meat is just good. No need to be afraid now. Eat it every day now. <laughs> bacon is good. 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 It's the best type of pork. Oh my god. <laughs> Did that do anything for you? That was incredible. But are you hungry for bacon a, a little bit more? No, I just want to watch the rest of the musical. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's it. That's all we rehearsed. <laughs> but we've got more for you. Okay, Colleen, we've come to the final step, the moment of truth. And you know what? You've worked really hard. Mm -hmm. You've been very cooperative. <laughs> and I feel like she's ready. Yep. Okay, we would like to present you with what quite possibly is the best bacon on the planet. Okay. Yes. This is thick cut Kurabuda pork, Japanese heritage breed bacon, sous vide then seared, AKA some really good bacon. Okay. So um, it looks the same as all bacon to me. Doesn't okay. look okay. any different. I'm not offended. <laughs> well, if you guys are bacon connoisseurs, which one should I go for? I okay. actually think this one, the one closest really? to you yeah, is the most uniform. It's, it's like most evenly cooked. I think that's okay. the one that you should try. Which end doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, oh, it's kind of sog. Uh, it, but yeah, because this this is how it's done. Now but, don't, don't you bite it. Yeah, before you eat it. We need to reintroduce the picky eater meter here, of course. When last we saw the meter, you had <laughs> placed it squarely on the zero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we'd like for you to do mm -hmm. is eat it, mm -hmm. process it, take as much time as you need, okay. and then indicate on the scale, <laughs> anywhere on the scale, mm -hmm. your new relationship with bacon. Okay. okay. Are we ready? And, and Well, I'm just going to go ahead and bite some of the bacon okay. before you do. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of nervous. That is the best bacon I've ever tasted. <laughs> Come on now, relax, relax your face. Mm. Don't let us guilt you into an answer now. Any way you want. This is this is for real. Okay, for real. This is for real. Based on everything that's happened today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you she, know what? She moved two whole notches. That's twenty percent improvement. Right? Yeah, that's pretty good. I gotta say, it was the chili. But okay. not that. Chili didn't. Not this. This wasn't horrible though. Like I didn't eat this okay. and go like, oh, I'm gonna spit this out. I was like, I could swallow this. We're claiming victory. <laughs> Thank we you, did it. Colleen, so much. And be sure to check out her channel, Colleen Ballinger, on YouTube. And you know what, guys? We want you to comment below and let us know who else you want to see us help conquer their food fears. So put their names yes. below. If that's other YouTubers, whoever you want, and you know they fear some food, comment below. We'll help them. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Israel. And I'm Scott. And we're here in sunny San Diego, California on Bacon Street. And it's time to spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. How about now? Did, <laughs> <laughs> did that do it I did it. Where <laughs> is Move the you meter? to a three. Where's I think the their meter? arms were stuck like that. Because they were there the whole time. Click the top link to watch us guess Colleen's pregnancy cravings and good mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Do you wanna win a visit to the Mythical Studio? Now's your chance. Go to mythical.store and click the silver GMM logo tee to find out how you can win the trip of a lifetime.